It takes one whole day for the Earth to make one full rotation around its axis. To be precise, it takes 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.1 seconds. We know that the Earth revolves around the Sun and it covers this distance at a speed of 30 kilometers per second or 67,000 miles per hour. Did you know that the speed is not constant all over the surface of the Earth? Speed at a stipulated area greatly varies depending on the distance from the poles. For example, if you are closer to the equator, it moves the fastest. It moves at 460 meters per second, a thousand miles per hour. While a car driving at 100 miles per hour can send our adrenaline rushing. Isn't it amazing how we don't feel the Earth spinning at 1,000 miles per hour every second? Coming back, when you are closer to the poles, be it north or south, it moves the slowest, like it isn't moving at all. It is these variants in the speed of rotation on different areas of the Earth that make life sustainable. The cycle of shifting from day to night is crucial, as it maintains an ideal temperature for the sustenance of life. The rotation of the Earth is what influences weather patterns and the rise and fall of the tides at sea. So, now we know that there is so much dependent on the Earth's rotation, which brings us back to our topic. Have you ever wondered what would happen if the Earth's speed accelerated? Would the sudden change in climate make life inhabitable to all life forms? Stay with us till the end to find out more. Picture this. Imagine we increase the rotation of the Earth by a mere 0.45 meters per second, or one mile per hour. It results in the day becoming shorter, but it would not make much of a difference, as it would change the length of the day by only a minute and a half. We might not even notice the change but it is enough to affect the level of the sea by a few centimetres or inches. It would result in the water from the north and south poles gathering towards the equator. Now, let's spin it up a tad bit more, like, say, 45 metres per second or 100 miles per hour. In this case, our days would last for only 22 hours. And yeah, this difference we would feel for sure, not just feel, it would leave you feeling confused, almost like being jet-lagged. We might even need to add a few more days to the year. Hey, it's at least good news for those whose birthdays are on a leap year. You can just choose to add another day to celebrate your birthday. Jokes apart, let's see if this increase in acceleration can affect our sea levels. Switching the acceleration from 45 meters per second, 100 miles per hour, would mean a dramatic change in the sea levels. The oceans around the world would gather to rise as much as 9 to 20 meters around the equator. Places around the world bordering the coast like New York, Venice, Mumbai, etc. would be flooded, leaving millions of people displaced. Now, if you think accelerating the rotation of the Earth at 45 meters per second is bad, imagine if you further increase the acceleration to 920 meters per second or 200 miles per hour. Disaster is sure to strike. In this scenario, water would soon flood all the buildings, roads, etc., except for the highest mountains, like Kilimanjaro, which is 5,895 meters, or even the highest summit of the Andes, which is Mount Aconcagua, at 6,959 meters tall. At this speed of acceleration, it would also play havoc with our communications, television broadcasting, and even our military operations. In terms of weather, the air would become heavily laden with moisture. Heavy rain and dense fog would be the new normal for places near the equator. So what if we were feeling a bit more adventurous and sped up the acceleration further? Well, you might just eventually fly off the planet. The centrifugal force which acts upon the body when it is in a circular path or rotating around an axis can catapult you into outer space. Why do you suppose this happens? Let's try to understand. If you weigh 150 pounds in the Arctic Circle, you might weigh 149 pounds near the equator. This is because the extra centrifugal force that's generated would spin faster and combat gravity. If you speed up further, your weight would drop lower to the extent of being thrown away. The fine balance between the gravitational and centrifugal force is what upholds life on Earth. 
The force of the rotation would be enough to defy gravity. The force which is keeping you glued to the ground. This is what will happen at the speed of 7,886 meters per second, 17,461 miles per hour. Not only will you fly off the ground, but one would also witness a phenomenal reverse rain, which is instead of the rain falling down, it would go upwards. Now how weird would that be? Now let's make it further interesting. Imagine what will happen if the speed of the acceleration was 11,000 meters per second, or 24,000 miles per hour. The Earth's crust would begin to flatten at the poles and bulge around the equator. Needless to say, things on Earth would become even more chaotic. Massive earthquakes would make it almost impossible for life to survive. So if the conditions of the Earth were so dire already, imagine what might happen if the Earth spun at the speed of light. Well, better brace yourselves for what's to come. Picture this. We somehow managed to get the Earth to spin at 299,792 kilometers per second and match the speed of light. Let's be clear. This would mean the Earth is spinning at 652,000 times faster than it is today. The original dimension of the Earth would contract to a size much smaller, which is known as the length contraction. The spherical Earth as we know it would change its shape and become flat, which is good news for all those flat Earth believers. But what could happen to life? We would too become similar to a disc-like shape. In short, we would cease to exist. Coming back to Einstein's theory of relativity. In accordance with this theory, time will gradually slow down with the Earth starting to approach the speed of light. This is known as time dilation. The Earth's relative time would become infinite. In other words, time would not tick. It would just abruptly stop. The time that your watch was on will be still for the remainder of your life. It's like you're living in your science fiction movie. So what's going to happen at the level of the atmosphere and the environment around us? The Earth's unimaginable rate of rotation would disrupt the currents of wind and the disruption of our land masses. The surrounding atmosphere that rotates around the Earth would disappear at this speed. The gases that envelop the Earth would vanish and the atmosphere would cease to exist. The Earth's energy would become infinite when the Earth's rotation matches the speed at which light travels, due to the relativistic frame. A little bit of science lesson here. A relativistic frame of reference means the coordinate time across different frames do not equate while being relative to one another. The mass which is relativistic would become infinite, making the Earth into a singularity. When we say singularity, it means a location in space-time. This means a huge mass has been squeezed into a small dimension and it could, potentially, turn into a black hole and suck in the entire universe. Now, the most intriguing question is, can the Earth's rotation match the speed of light? Don't worry, this doomsday will not happen. So all the science fiction fans out there, we're sorry to disappoint you. The Earth's rotation simply cannot match the speed at which light travels. For it to be possible, the Earth should not have any impossible mass. It also has to gain an unimaginable level of infinite energy, which again is not possible. Thus, this is merely a hypothesis. We will, however, never face this situation. Let's take another angle to this topic. How about reversing it around? What if the rotation of the Earth suddenly stops? If the planet becomes stationary, it would cause a single day to last for half a year. This in turn would affect our rhythmic cellular process, which is responsible for sleep patterns. And we all know how important sleep is. It also affects the air currents, which in turn affect the weather, rainfall, and temperatures around the globe. A motionless planet would mean no magnetic field, though scientists haven't proven this as yet. It is thought that the magnetic field is created by the movement of the Earth's liquid metal core. The magnetic field protects us from the cosmic rays 
and electromagnetic storms from the sun. So both extremes have a horrible outcome. This is why we need to maintain a balance for life on Earth to be sustainable. To keep the Earth going at a stable speed, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon so you would not miss any upload to our channel. Our planet is our present and future. Let's join hands to keep it going safe. Thank you.